Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations and this is my middle grade May book recommendation video. So I am going to leave the link to the announcement video I did in the description below. This will give you a little bit more idea about the theme of the readathon and my readathon in particular. And the reason I say that is because the overall theme of this year is middle grade mayhem. And we decided to go with this theme because each of us kind of wanted to do our own thing as far as a theme. And this gave us the opportunity to do just that. So go watch my video, go watch the other host announcement videos, and you will get the idea of the themes and the prompts and what you have to do. So my theme is teams, and I broke this down into three sets of teams. You have a team where you're working with strangers to achieve a goal, um, your friends to accomplish something, and then your family to get together and make something happen. So I figure in this recommendation video, I would give you three suggestions for each of the three prompts. You can use these for actually reading. You can use them just as a suggestion or just to give you some ideas, a better understanding of what type of book you might wanna read for each prompt. So first up is Stranger, and the first book I'm going to recommend is The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, and this is part of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. And in this book, when Percy finds out he's a dem demigod, he winds up being sent to Camp Half-Blood, where he meets other demigods like himself. He then is teamed up to go on a quest with several strangers. And while on the quest, they have a mission to accomplish and they become very good friends. So this would be a great place to start for a book with strangers. Not to mention it's an awesome adventure throughout the whole series. And by demigods, I mean this series focuses on Greek mythology. My second suggestion would also be in the Rick Riordan world, and this would be The Lost Hero. And this is part of the Heroes of Olympus series. And in this one, we are starting out by following Jason, Piper, and Leo. They will also meet up at Camp Half-Blood, but things are a little bit different on this side because we are following Roman mythology in this one. I will say right now, after the first books of each of these, I would suggest any of the rest of the series would be great for a uh, prompt for the friends category, because by this point they are all friends. So if you enjoy reading any of the first two books, I would recommend the following for the friends prompt. And the third book is going to be City Spies by James Ponty. This is the first in the City Spy series. I have not read this one yet, but it's definitely on my list. Uh, it's only been highly recommended to me. And this is about a girl named Sarah who is a hacker. And um, she basically hacks in, gets her foster parents in trouble, or she tries to. Tables get turned on her a little bit. She winds up joining a, a, a group of elite child spies just like herself that are all full of talent and can go into places and get things done that adults can't. So definitely looking forward to this series and since they don't know each other ahead of time this would be perfect for a group of strangers who have to team up to get things done. Next category is friends. And I already just thinking about my recommendations, I'm already excited because they're all near and dear to my heart. So first we have up the 80s and 90s series, The Babysitter's Club by Anna Martin. I would suggest this one because in the series, there are a bunch of girls who live in a neighborhood together. They've been friends their whole lives. They've also been babysitting for a couple of years now. And after one of the girl's moms has a hard time getting a babysitter, 
she gets the idea to come together and form a club that would start a business known as the Babysitter's Club. Um, I would absolutely recommend this. The first book in the series is Christie's Great Idea, but there are a ton of books in this series, so you could jump in at any point at whatever book seems interesting to you because um, you don't have to read an order because the author always explains like the backstory of the club and how they got started. Next would be the Mr. Lemoncello series by Chris Grabenstein. The first book in the series is Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library. And in this one, Kyle Keeley is the main character and he wins a chance to go into Mr. Lemoncello's library and it's full of puzzles and games and teaming up and having to figure out all these things to win the grand prize of the library. So he's one of 12 kids picked from his school and they form into little teams. Again, team building, working together, puzzles, games, and it's just a great time. I think there's like five books plus a prequel. I've loved every single one of them. Um, just I look forward to hopefully him putting out more. And just to give you a quick idea, it says, in this cross between Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and A Night in the Museum, the author uses rib tickling humor to create the perfect tale for his quirky characters. Old fans and new readers will become enthralled with the crafty twist and turns of this ultimate library experience. So I think it hits perfect for all of us. Fun, games, puzzles, and books. And my third suggestion is a book I read for last year's middle grade May, and that is Charlie Hernandez and the League of Shadows by Ryan Kaleo. And in this one, Charlie grew up hearing his grandmother's stories about what he kind of considers myths and legends, but he found them interesting and he always paid attention. And it turns out they're real. So he teams up with his lifelong crush, Violet, and together they have to use the knowledge of the folklore that his grandmother taught him about and their own, you know, genius and teamwork to team up and get rid of the monsters. I don't want to say too much, so. But I recommend this one. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I think there's three out in the series, so hopefully I'll be getting to the next one soon. And the third prompt is family. And for this one, I've said this could be a biological family, an adopted family, or a blended family. Um, I don't really want to do a friend, a found family here, mainly because I feel like that could fit into the friends category. But anyway, uh, let me give you the suggestions that I have. First up is B is for Blended by Lindsay Stoddard. I haven't read this one yet. It's been on my TBR forever. Let me read it to you quickly because I feel like this is perfect for this prompt. B and her mom have always been a two-person team. But now her mom is marrying Wendell and their team is growing by three boys, two cats, and a dog. Finding her place in a new blended family may be tough, but when B finds her school might not get the all-girl soccer team they'd been promised, she learns that the bigger the team, the stronger the fight, and that for the girls to get what they deserve, they're going to need a squad behind them. So I feel like this is just going to be like that perfect book of like her family having to get behind them to really show that she is part of the family. So definitely looking forward to that one. It's on my list for this year. Another suggestion is The Great Peach Experiment by Erin Soderberg Downing. And this is about the first one is When Life Gives You Lemons Make Peach Pie. And this is about the Peach family who, after their mother's death, they kind of go on the road for a vacation, which turned out to be their father's idea of, hey, let's run a food truck together and go on the food truck circuit, which is not exactly what the kids planned. They wanted to spend their summer by the beach, hanging out and having fun. Um, but in true family fashion, they make it work. They enter a competition for food trucks 
and they spend the season basically doing the food truck circuit and competing to win the grand prize. There are two other books in the series as well, and I'm looking forward to reading those this year. And my third suggestion is going to be another Rick Riordan series, and this is the Kane Chronicles trilogy. The first book is The Red Pyramid. In this one, we are following brother and sister Carter and Sadie throughout the United States and Egypt and Britain. And this one focuses on Egyptian mythology. I really enjoyed this one. And in this one, I believe they live in Brooklyn and there is a little bit of a nod to the city, which is where the Percy Jackson series takes place. So that's it. Those are my suggestions for each of the prompts. I will be coming out later on with my own TBR for the month. I've been saving up a bunch of middle grade books to read during this time. Please let me know if you're going to read any of the books I suggested, or if you read any of them, what you thought of them. Or let me know what books you're planning on reading for each prompt, because maybe I'm unaware of it and I would like to put it on my TBR if it sounds interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.